Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Key here from Commander Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time coming across the channel. If you can press the subscribe button below, a thumbs up or a comment below, we really appreciate it. I just want to give a massive thank you to my subscribers for helping me hit the AK milestone. Look at I'm very happy. I'm humble. I'm absolutely delighted that you've done that for me. I really am. But we're going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about Yusuke Idaguchi and we're going to talk about Ange Postacolo's rolling contract situation. So let's kick it off. Yusuke Idaguchi arrived on NX Town today. He's presented with the 21 shorts. He done a press conference that was obviously translated from a female Japanese um, translator. And he was saying that Koigo was a lot of talk in Japan because he's been doing well at Celtic. He's been keeping eyes on certain games for Celtic. Um, he's been looking forward to coming over, putting his stamp on the in his position in the team, fighting hard for the short. I'm looking forward to this lad. Like this is a gamble. We bought him for less than a million. He's a defensive midfielder. He's 25. He's played for Japan 15 times. He came from a club called Gambia Osaka in the J League. He has experience of playing in Europe. He played in Bundesliga too. Played in Spain. And he played in England. He didn't really play much for Leeds, but this is a gamble. Like every every son is always a gamble in football. But I'm looking forward to seeing Yusuke Itaguchi playing and getting stuck in, seeing the training clips with the boys in the next couple of days. Hopefully, he won't feel as bad settling in with the days of May that coming as well. Koyogo being here, and I'm sure Ange knows a wee bit of um, Japanese as well. Obviously, walking over here for two and a half years. So let's see how it goes. Let's talk about the gaffer. So this is a random question I'm asking you is he's on a 12-month rolling contract he took in the summer when he took the job. Has he done enough at this moment of time to say maybe we should give him a new con? Maybe we should give him a two-year deal right now since he's building the, these foundations of bringing these players in. He's had, to bring, he's had to bring 12 players in in the last two windows since he took the job and 14 players have gone and we're still up um, 700 grand of revenue compared to all the players we have sold and players that we brought in. So, would you give Ange the job? I know it's a tough one to say. This guy is at the back in the League Cup. We're still in European football. We're six points behind Rangers, which is not bad considering it was a, it's a rebuild season. Some people wrote this guy off by Christmas. We've had a few bumps and bruises on the way, getting beaten by Hearts, getting beaten by Michelin in the qualifiers. Unfortunate to not qualify through the Europa League group stage, even though we finished on nine points. And we look look at this season away from home in Europe. We've been brilliant. We really have. We've taken the teams away. It's just it's been stupid sending offs. I give my stupid fouls that have cost us. But I can see a difference since since last year massive difference obviously it's a new man the players are hungrier the dead wood's gone you know it's we've had fans in the stadium as well it's been a long it's been a long year we've taken in six months of getting used to Ange and more press conferences does the way he gets on with the media is unbelievable you know he doesn't take shit off anyone and that's what I like about him even at the end of full time towards the fans when he's away he does this stuff and all he, he gets Celtic he completely gets Celtic. He was at the Tommy Bourne's night as well. One of the Tommy Bourne's nights. He's the best dressed man as well in Scotland at the moment. I think we need to give him a two year deal. The reason why I think a two year deal. If we don't win the league this season. Give him a good crack in next season. And if we do win the league. Give him that experience of pushing to get in this Celtic team. Competing in Europe. If it's Europa League standards. Or if we can get back in the Champions League. For a group stage appearance. I think he's. He's, the philosophy of football is being magnificent to watch. Yes, yeah, sometimes we have conceded goals in horrible ways, and but he's getting used to having these players adapt to the system. I still feel Starfield hasn't adapted to the system. You know, Rolson has been unbelievable on the Ange. You know, Tom has been class on the Ange. I obviously worked with Ange at the soccer rails. You know, Beaton has been unbelievable this season. And this is this is down to Ange. This is down to Ange and his. His man management behind the scenes. Like this guy left Japan, flew from the other side of the world to take this job. Why well, we had some dope that won't take the job because he wasn't getting his own coach and staff and threw, he, threw his toys out of the basket and had a moan about it. And look what he's doing now in Newcastle, not much. So 
I'm delighted, Hook it. At the time, I was raging because I didn't know. It was all strange to me, strange to a lot of Celtic fans. And when he sold the interview to the fans and he done the press conference, like, look, okay, let's just get behind them. And from that Michelin game when he put his, his fist up in the air towards the Green Brigade and then all these away games and these press conferences, I was like, how could you not like this man? This man is unbelievable. He's just class. And the way he keeps bringing up his father and he always looks to his father as his, obviously his key figure in his life. He always wants to strive, strive and do well. And he has experience working in the A-League, the J-League. To some Europeans like ourselves, we're not used to that. We're not used to hearing about them leagues. But he's a winner. He's a winner. He's patient. He speaks his mind. It's not scripted with Ange, not like it was with Neil Lennon. It's not scripted. That's one of the most important things. And that's how a lot of Celtic fans have sold into him. They've got into him. That bought his idea that he is... A good coach, a really good coach, World Cup experience, and you know, we've got some great results on them. And I know people will say, What do you mean, great results? We won a League Cup for fuck's sake. We've hammered teams 6 0 under them. We've got some crucial away wins against Motherwell, Aberdeen, Hibs away, which we haven't done since 2013. Hibs away since 2013. That says something in itself. So the players are playing from, it's a new generation. It's a new era on the hands, as we know. Most of the Deadwood's gone. Edward's gone. Christie's gone. Oyer's gone. They were good players when they wanted to play for the club, but they didn't want to be at the club. They just wanted money deals and get the fuck out of the club. And hopefully, Lee Griffiths will be the next. As much as Lee was a good servant for us, I think we need to move on as a club. And we need to get rid of players that want, don't want to be there. We want fighters. We want characters that want to win league titles. And I think Ange is buying that idea. Callum McGregor has been outstanding since he um, took the captaincy. Yes, he's had a few bumps and bruises. Every captain does, but Ange backs him. And Ange says, if it goes wrong on the pitch, I will come out and defend me team. And that's what I like about him. He's not like some managers that give slight digs at players. He's just out straight. And I hope he gets his own coaching staff next season if they give him the option and I hope he gets the players he wants to get in in this window as well, if he's looking at three or four. And I hope the likes of Carter Vickers and Jota do sign from as well. So let me know what you think. Is it too early to call, call it? Would you just review it and see at the end of May and say, we know what, give him another rolling, rolling contract or do you give him a two-year deal? Let me know what you think. And I'm delighted that Gucci has arrived in Glasgow and has been up in Lennox Town and done the press conference. So hopefully we see Hatate soon, hopefully. Subscribe to the channel. Speak to us all soon. Hail, hail. Have a good night.